A local activist says he's facing discipline by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, including a disciplinary council. News 4 Utah's Sarah Martin explains what that means for Sam Young and finds out how members of his community are reacting. Sam Young is the founder of the Protect LDS Children movement. For more than a year, he's been calling publicly for the church to end its practice of childhood worthiness interviews. In a letter he posted online, Young has told, the reason for this council is that you're reported to have acted repeatedly in clear, open, and deliberate public opposition to the church or its leaders. The letter makes it clear that Sam Young may be excommunicated during the disciplinary council on September 9th. Members of his movement are outraged. We are a part of this organization that right now is punishing someone for asking them to stop abuse of children. Young's movement has grown rapidly online. His petition to the church now has more than 20,000 signatures. It's been such a wonderful movement to be a part of and to, to see the other people that are joining it and for them to share their stories of the abuse, um, the questions, the shame that they've gone through to be able to connect with each other and realize that we're not alone. During his 23-day fast, Young spoke from Temple Square live each evening, encouraging members of the church to speak out with him. Not only were they watching what Sam was doing and we were able to be there, you know, virtually, but then it also it allowed people to kind of converse and talk and find support with one another. In the letter, Young is told that he's being disciplined for speaking publicly, but members of the movement like Haley Allen say they have no other option. I don't think that there's anything I can do to make the church listen to me. I've sent letters. I've met face-to-face. -face, I've, um, I've done everything that I feel that I can do. So when I say that I've been hurt, that I've been wronged, who am I to go to? Reporting in Salt Lake City, I'm Sarah Martin, News 4 Utah. We have reached out to church leaders for comment on the story. They said that they should have a statement about Young's possible excommunication in the future.